up world is action fredo it's your boy lc you heard we got a special guest on the line a really dear friend of ours let us know or let them know who you are and where you're from if they haven't seen you before uh i'm michaela or mk and uh i'm from north carolina that's right that's right carolina. so you practice su southern hospitality am i invited over naturally of course come up come to the pig picking but what about me i'll, I'll promise yeah, i'll be I'll see you invited, everyone invited. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. see. So gotcha. she's pretty bold still inviting me, mm -hmm. even after hearing some <laughs> of the threats. But I've, I've calmed down a lot. Um, I'm going back to church. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the threats have slowed down because you guys have been providing the slaps. And uh, yeah. I'm going to chill out for a little bit. Gotcha. We're going we're gonna to get you some calming crystals, Elsie. <laughs> there we go. I need all that. Essential oils, everything to just keep me calm. I'm a very <laughs> high-energy person, so sitting in front of a camera – all mm -hmm. day is not something that I thought I'd do. Yeah. Uh, I figured I'd be out running around or doing something crazy, but I got to get that energy out somehow. So, cool. yeah. What you got queued up for us, then we'll kind of give them some backstory about what happened earlier. But let's just focus on this one. So uh, I got Dreamcatcher Odd Eye for you guys. Okay. And uh, it's uh, kind of like the final part in their Hear No Evil, Speak No Evil, See No Evil series that they've been doing. Mm. Uh, kind of to raise awareness of a lot of bullying that happens. Mm, very important topic. Bullying is not cool. I used to bully Fredo in high school. No, we didn't. <laughs> I know, that's a lie. <laughs> I wasn't a bully at all, but <laughs> I, I will say that I was kind of somewhat not oblivious to bullying, but I never was for it. You know, I was always yeah. a fun guy. You know, it was no, it was like very prevalent to like make fun of kids when we were coming up. Yeah. But I also was like the jock that was in band. You yeah. know, the kid that hung out with, with the gothic kids and, you know, the popular kids. Yeah. So I didn't yeah. know it was I didn't think it was a big a deal as it is today until like yeah. I had an incident where, you know, someone in my family was bullied and it. Re they decided to take the retaliation route. And it was not a good, you know, ending to that. So I'm, I'm always very intrigued to, you know, anybody who's speaking yeah. up against bullying. Yeah, definitely, because uh, I grew up middle and high school being bullied just because. I was too skinny, so they made fun of me for, uh, they said, do you even eat? Are you anorexic or anything? Mm. And uh, just going along those paths, and I actually left high school after, uh, because administration wouldn't do much about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, But after I hit my second year of high school, I became known as someone who doesn't put up with a lot of things, and mm -hmm. I became, have, I had that big, bad attitude. I'm five foot. But a lot of people <laughs> in all of the groups, they were like, yeah, don't don't say anything about her. Don't start rumors. She can ruin your life. And I was like, <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> wow. Just yeah. that energy you was putting off. You were fed up. You were done with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bullying is not cool. What was I about to say? I was about to say something about high school. I was going to say, like, I was kind of the same way. Like, I was kind of one of the popular kids, but I was also kind of a nerd, too. And like I was into like cameras and photography and stuff, and I went to the tech school. So yeah, I felt like I was always in the middle. Yeah, same. Like I, I could fit in over here, but I could also fit in over here, and it just left me kind of like in the middle. Like who am I? Yeah, I think I was somewhat oh, yeah. bullied for it. I, now that I think about it, like they used to make fun of me for that. Like, mm -hmm. what are you talking to them nerds for? You and you in band, you playing them? New? I'm like, I just be like, all right, or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't change the life story because I mean, made me who I am today. Made me understand like mm -hmm. that's something you don't put up with, and you don't let other people put up with that. So you got to stick up for the the underdog. That's right, sister. For sure. That's right. All right, you ready? Odd right. eye. Odd eye. Yeah. Let's do it. Hold on, wait. I gotta share my screen with you. Yeah, we was about <laughs> to dive in without her. Yeah, let's do this. You let me know when you got that. Yeah, I see it. All right, perfect. Wow. 
Wow. This is so, so we don't get, fire, bro. So we don't get blocked. Oh. Yeah, this is beyond wow. fire. Wow. This is beyond fire. I wonder what's written on her face on this shot. Have you noticed that like the, three of them have had di- two different color eyes? Yeah. The visual in this, they are captivating me with the visuals. I'm missing oh, yeah. out on the lyrics. Oh, because I'm I can't, struggling. I'm I'm looking at the visuals. I'm listening to the song, and my professional listenerism is not working right now <laughs> i'm even doing a bad job of reading the lyrics because i like the song so much yeah and then i'm just literally over here rocking in my head focusing on the beat and the track presence mm-hmm. and the visual is just so much the guitar with slapping the guitar with the vocal like they're singing with the guitar on the on the hook mm-hmm. that yeah. is that's blowing me away i love that yeah, what's on? Does does anyone know? Do you know what's on her face? Um, I don't really know, but it reminds me of if you guys saw the like the most recent the mummy with yeah. the girl when they brought her. That's what that reminds me of. But mm-hmm. um, each one of them is like in a different scene, uh, mm-hmm. with like probably a different meaning. I haven't really dove too deep in it, but you'll in the lyrics they talk about like there the utopia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So like here where they are isn't what they've been looking for mm-hmm. so there's no more utopia so mm-hmm. they it's essentially like they see what they want to see like yeah. a mirage mm-hmm. and so they can create their own jeez wow. this is super deep the visual is this just part crazy. right here was super trippy to me i when was the, like that's fire yeah like that came out of like the phone didn't mm-hmm. it yeah. yeah that was crazy I'm just captivated. Like, yep. See, I, I knew I wasn't tripping. It, it took me like two or three tries before I realized, like, no, they do have two different color eyes. Yeah. I actually met a girl in college who uh, had two different color eyes. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, you looked at the uh, scene with that one girl you saw in the back. It had the tree and it said reality mm-hmm. on it. Yeah. And then you see like the distortion, kind of like a distortion of reality mm. that you see. Yeah. See, that's why we love having you guys on screen with us. Otherwise, we would have just thought it was a cool track with a cool visual. Yeah. Still would have got a thumbs up on my end, but this is definitely giving mm-hmm. them credibility from an artist and a creator standpoint. Yeah. Jeez. Let's continue. This is crazy visuals. Go blood. <laughs> Look at the planets in the back. That's crazy. I gotta get my wife that coat. <laughs> Wow. 
All right, I'm catching some lyrics now. Okay. Jeez. Wow. What a ball of energy. That. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Already knew. Already knew. That thank you. This is visual. This is a visual roller coaster. The song was fire. Everything was fire. That's the best rock blend I've heard, period. My favorite part was even the part where she was rapping too. Yeah, that was I was fire like, too. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, <laughs> she has a very unique deep voice for mm -hmm. rapping. Mm -hmm. And then her singing voice is completely different. Yeah. I'm going to scroll some, through some of these visuals just again. Like, man. They have this... the best. They, I was, see, look, I was already classifying, like, from a girl. I was going to say this. From an all-girl group, they have the best visuals that I've ever seen. And then I said, you know what? Scratch the classification. Like, they're up there visually from any oh, yeah. I was of gonna the videos we've seen. I was going to say, like, this is in my top five favorite K-pop visuals I've ever seen. Like, it's, this yeah, is. Yeah, they put a lot of work in. Yeah, I need that coat for my wife. Like, look at the neon wires, like on the ground. That the coat, lighting, that coat looks so soft, and it looks like it smells like orange sherbet. It looked like she got a a, a a Louis belt around her neck. She probably do. And then she's got Versace boots on. Mm hmm. This is crazy. Yeah. The lighting, the story. Yeah. I'm just completely captivated. So yeah, give, they, give us give us your take. Are they underrated? Look at this room. Um, international wise, I don't think they're as underrated as in Korea, but there's still a lot of people who don't necessarily like the music just because it's a harder rock. Like, um, my best friend, uh, she loves them, but Boca, the song, she says the, a lot of the hard rock, she mm -hmm. doesn't like a lot of like the harder, more instrumental rock. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but she still like supports them and loves them, yeah. but they just, they have a way of mixing and blending that I haven't seen any other groups doing. Big facts. Look Super big facts. The subtle things that just add to shots. Like she's got mm -hmm. the stickers on her face and then piece the of pop. She got a piece of popcorn. Yeah, she's got a heart on her shoulder. And then this was crazy lighting. Just one shot, mm -hmm. two different eye colors. Mm -hmm. That odd one. Which one is the odd one? The blue one? Because they all kind of kind of yeah. got the blue one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then this this is my favorite shot right here. You got the TVs kind of floating, and mm -hmm. they're, they're doing this dreamy effect. And you got a neon wire that if you kick it, you're going to get electrocuted. But she's sitting there comfortably. Yeah, she risks death for that shot. I like the one yeah. where this that's, was crazy, that's a dope too. One too. This was crazy. I don't even remember seeing that one. I like I the did. one. Uh, it's going to be a little bit further down. It's the one where, um, nope, nope. That, that, that was fire, literally fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one where the uh, the blurriness was coming out of the phone the first time they went there. Oh. But they they brought it back again. Hmm. Oh, when she was touching the TV. Yeah. Right in there. Or the screen. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was just like, look at that. Man, whoever it kind of gave me that uh um, that uh neon type. Remember when he mm -hmm. had that helmet on and yeah. the, those the lights and the blur was oh, coming yeah, about the, the helmet. Oh yeah, the DPR. Yes, yeah. it gave me the DPR vibes. And then this this right here too. It was only a second. Let me go back. Like she look at that. For, yeah, oh, she's that. reaching into like this digital animated world type thing. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, the transition. A, a lot of the lyrics, like what I got from it, is like odd eye. You're seeing past people's BS, mm. and you're seeing past the, you're seeing past the lies to get the truth because i mean there's the one lyrics everything a plausible lie anything can be covered with sweetness yeah mm. and so they're seeing through that to get the truth 
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Do they do any, like, behind the scenes? Like, I would watch the full behind the scenes of that video. Yeah, they do. They do uh, have behind the scenes for yeah. a lot of their music videos, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we got we to gotta check those out because I got to see the production going on, the moving parts of it. Mm-hmm. And it's just inspiration mm-hmm. for me. I got to step up my visuals. No more typical, <laughs> stereotypical hood videos. Yeah, you've, mas- <laughs> you've mastered the art of the hood video where, yes. like, you know, they're walking out and then you just reverse it. <laughs> and then it's got, like, the little shake screen. Yeah. <laughs> you've mastered that. Yeah. Uh, wow. So we got to give y'all, the, the audience, some backstory. We we actually did a reaction with you earlier. And Fredo hit the record button, but somehow it didn't record. And I know how he did it. Tell the truth, bro. He had Cheeto grease on his finger. Yeah, man. It's like sometimes when I hit the laptop, boom, it like double taps. And it's like, oh, I hit, I saw it start recording, but then I didn't glance at it. It's yeah. not recording anymore. Just, just me swiping my nose for that yeah, one. Yeah, that's all yeah, we got. And it, like, it just recorded like It this was such much. a good conversation and everything, too. Yeah. And I just happened to glance down and not see the red button flashing. And I poked him in the shoulder so hard, like, and he knew. And I'm like, gosh, dang it. So you guys are sticking around this far. We're going to hop into Boca. But it's going to be a deep dive because we just watched it maybe like an hour and a half ago. But this will be new for us because I've never done this before. So maybe I'll catch some more of the things that I didn't catch. Yeah. But I, I caught something that was like a motif. You know what a motif is? Kind of like a recurring symbol within mm-hmm. a film. The the, the tree, yeah. The, the tree and also the circle that's like a portal. Mm-hmm. Like they can go inside of that circle into another universe or something like Because that circle really stood out to me in this video. Super, yeah, because um, actually their first series that they did, uh, kind of it had a storyline to it. Mm-hmm. And it, it the storyline kind of went in reverse. Yeah. To, and so it started with like the what was happening in the future or present and then went back through the past to mm. see like how they got there. Nice. We need we I'll need more to, people on screen like you. Yeah. It I'll it saves so much time. You, like, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'll have to I'll, oh sorry, I was going to say I'll have to send you like the order to watch them in mm-hmm. if you guys ever want to do that so yeah, that you yeah. guys can like watch the storyline and try to figure the storyline out for you for yourself because there's a lot of theories for it. I'm mm. totally into the storyline stuff now too because we watched uh we haven't did we we haven't posted it yet but we did a uh, BTS Spring Day. I rewatched it with mm. him and caught a lot of stuff and then we did the explained video that'll be up in Patreon later today. And I was blown away like yeah. Th- we're on that next level of like diving deep into knowing what some of the meanings are behind the songs. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, even you explaining this. Matter of fact, since let's double back, tell them about Boca. So uh, Boca is, was the second release in their uh, evil series uh, or utopia dystopia series. And this is the uh, hear no e- or speak no evil. Mm. So because Boca in Spanish means mouth. And you'll see multiple times in the course that they says uh, don't speak evil or don't say that. Close your Boca. So mm-hmm. it, it, it definitely has something. And there's one lyric that says, why do you spend your free time filling the world with hate? Mm-hmm. And that really just hit me hard, just because if you have all this time, why are you using it to be yeah, the hater. person that you are? And I yeah. feel like anybody who has all that time, mm-hmm. it, they're not in their calling. Yeah, yeah, they're not in their natural element either. Mm-hmm. Like you don't always mm-hmm. have to be like working or doing whatever within your calling, but at least you can bare minimum like don't hate Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. so let's 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 do this again let's do it i'm gonna be just as wild because it's fire yeah but i'm gonna i'm going deeper this time let's do it the lighting is just so crazy it's super ambient Mm -hmm. yeah Gonna give me a chance to read these lyrics too. Yeah, 
I think we had it turned up this loud last time. It's got more bass. <laughs> It sound better the second time. I ain't gonna lie. No, I like it both times. This is crazy. <laughs> seeing a ton more i'm glad pause. you paused it i'm seeing a ton more that i didn't see the first time a lot of the cameras zooming in on the beat mm -hmm. and then i didn't even see these hands in the background the first time i'm like i didn't either yeah and this is special because we don't get to see a lot of these music videos the first time unless it's on our own time and mm -hmm. what is that mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like that doesn't exist yeah. um just for those who don't know um we had a, a technical difficulty to where we were redoing this one yeah but so i'll give you my take as if you know i've heard it for the first time i love this instrumental mm -hmm. the first time i heard this i was nervous about the blends because i've been spoiled with dj tezzy twitching in here and his blends are amazing but yeah. this one is fire because i love rock mm -hmm. and i'm like ooh, people i feel like a lot of people are sleeping on the rock side of things yeah um, i've always been mm -hmm. a huge fan of rock because i played college football and uh shout out dave mcmanus he was our head strength and conditioning coach, huge rock guy. So like on max out days and when we were really getting after it, he would just be blasting some some screamo rock music, and that's when I fell in love with it. Yeah. Just like kind of how you fell in love with this at first sight. Is that what you pulled it up for? Yeah, that's my uh, – if you guys remember from the first Dreamcatcher reaction, that was the new Bay <laughs> Alert right there. Mm. And I recognized her immediately. But yeah. uh, as I explained, the first time we did the reaction, we kind of broke things off. It was a mutual thing. I, I told her I was busy with higher faculty. Mm -hmm. We just crossed 37K, mm -hmm. and I got work to do. And I need to be reacting with fans and everything, and you got the little dream catcher thing going on. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so I just decided to, you know, just maintain our friendship from a distance. She looks like she's over you. Right? The look at her <laughs> face right there, she was like, Mm -hmm. I don't. I do not care. That's not a good feeling, man. I'm gonna just go ahead and act like I didn't hear that. I'm. That's just how she's looking, bro. I'm just saying, like. But yeah, the rockiness of the track. I love the guitar. It's inspiring me. I need to uh, go ahead and register myself as an artist. Action Fredo. My album will be coming out next year. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna pick my guitar back up. Okay. Okay. And uh, you know, I'll probably feature you on some songs. But other than that, okay. I need to start writing my rhymes. Get my vocals in order. I'm starting a band, man. I already wrote that rock track. You did? Remember that one that uh, my friend's supposed to get on, but oh, I'm about to just yeah, chalk yeah. him? Yeah, I'll, it's I'll got take a, his spot. It's really a rap track, but it's got a rock instrumental. I can't wait to share that too for you guys. But I will say this, Fredo. you you got to be real careful. This is the best accountability group on the planet. Anything that I say, people will message me and be like, hey, oh, bro, oh, you yeah. working out? You shouldn't have said it. Okay. So look out for Action Fredo and the faculties. Are you sure? That's that's the name of our <laughs> band. Okay. Okay. Action Fredo and the faculties. <laughs> All right, bro. You said it. You said it on air. It's a wrap. Let's do it. Oh, I will say this before you start. My favorite part of the choreo is when they were standing in the water, and they did like they each individually did the synchronized m movement the of folding down. Effect. Yes, the domino effect is fire. I missed that. Yeah. yeah. You'll, I their think you'll dances, see it again. Okay. Yeah, their Indian. dances are some of the hardest in some of the uh, K-pop girl groups, in my opinion, because I, I dance. Oh. And all, of the, all of the technicalities that they have going mm -hmm. on is is so difficult. You didn't tell us you danced? You didn't tell us you were yeah. the choreo killer. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, shoot. If you upload anything, you better send it to us because okay, we're trying yeah. to learn. I will. We'll check you out. I will. Yeah. 
I'm I'll put you learn. on my story. I'm trying to learn some choreo too. Me and LC supposed to have a choreo battle here soon. Yeah, but I'm we, so dehydrated. We can dehydrated. have a, a Zoom meeting. We okay. can have a Zoom meeting. I can teach you guys some choreo. Hundred percent. Bet it up. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is my favorite part of the beat. Yeah, this is one of my favorite mm-hmm. Look at editing. Through the circle. Mm-hmm. The water floating. That's crazy. Ooh, I didn't hear that guitar in the back last time. Golly. Okay. There it is. Like the bow and arrow. Oh, she got hit with the arrow. I didn't notice uh-huh. that. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Mm. There are two shots I want to scroll back to. Uh, the first one is, is the heads with the, the tape over the mouth. So this is a prime example. It's going to be yeah, further down that way. This is a prime example of the power of having someone with knowledge on screen with you because it's just oh, the easy. little things that, yeah. you know, I would have watched this and been wild like, oh, man, the track was dope, the visual was dope. But, I mean, there's a, there's some symbolic meaning that you just may not have caught Yeah, <laughs> without certain people helping you out. Yeah. Super, super dope. My second scene is the the gold hand with the honey mustard so, coming down. So that scene is Calle de la Boca. And then what? What? Oh, yes. Um, Where is it at? It's somewhere near. This really hand. connected with me because oh. this is what my <laughs> hand looks like. If I go to Cane's and I'm really hungry yeah. and I'm trying to get scrape all that sauce out of there, my hand has definitely looked like that yeah, from man. a chicken strip in the past. And you order a five piece, and they only give you one sauce, so you you struggling to get you yeah yes. I understand that. After yes. about three and a half, you like man, they should have gave me an extra sauce, bro. I got to spread these dips out mm-hmm. in order to compensate. Whoever hand that is, like <laughs> they're saucy. They're definitely in the sauce gang. You know what I'm saying? Like they had a, a lot of extra sauce. I would have actually grabbed the chicken strip and just went and grazed the back of my hand and took a bite at that point. <laughs> Yeah, that man. looks like the most delicious glittery honey mustard on the, the face <laughs> of this earth. It's got like sweet, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's sour, it's tangy. It hits all taste buds. You eat it, and then you get hit with that invisible arrow. Yeah, like oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that, but uh, that was crazy. Yes, like, right like, here. Like, I look, at the, look at the animation, though. Wow. Yeah, like, that their video game, like their video game uh, company partnership yeah. yeah ever since they partnered with that their visuals were already good but they just skyrocketed like that that's amazing i'm trying to partner with a video game company for anything yeah because my whole life i was told to stop playing video games matter of fact that's who i need to call is my mom and dad and been like hey remember when you told me to get off sonic and get off the madden and everything if y'all would have just let me ride yeah things could be different right now yeah gaming how is, dare you yeah it's huge, but yeah, this could have been this could have been you guys. Yeah, partner with Dreamcatcher. <laughs> for yeah. real, for sure. And I love the fact that I like these elegant shots in the trees, and then they mm-hmm. made it like rain in there. We've been seeing a lot of people, uh, especially in the lives, dancing on yeah. a floor of water. Yeah, that's what 
I've done it off screen, but it's whenever I'm changing the fish tank water and I've just spilled it a lot and then a good yeah. song comes on and I do some of this exact choreo just in that puddle of fish water. Man, the first time I saw that was Kai's. Mm-hmm. Yes. He was like dancing in the water and I'm like, wow, mm-hmm. that's creative. But I've saw it a lot in K-pop since then. Yes, yes. It's like a common shot and it's very creative and dope. Is Ex- that a dream catcher actually in your closet back there? Or in the hallway? I'm talking to you, my friend. Me? Yeah, is that that is that Back a dream? There, oh, that's uh, that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's just a picture hanging up. But uh, from one of their albums, they have um, uh, kind of like when you pre-ordered it, you could make a dream catcher. And they sent you the stuff to make a dream catcher with their stuff to go along with the album and everything. Mm-hmm. So haven't got around to that, but probably do. So. Yeah, I've nice. actually slept under a Dreamcatcher once, and it worked, and it freaked me out. Like I, I was like, "What is this?" I stayed a night at my friend's house. He was like, "Yeah, you can get the bottom bunk where the Dreamcatcher is. Like you, you're not gonna have no dreams. It's gonna be an experience." And I'm like, "What?" And he used to play music when he was asleep. He was a very interesting fella. <laughs> we were listening to like Indian instrumental music, and I slept mm-hmm. under that bad boy and like blinked and woke up and it was morning and I was like freaked out. <laughs> So I might need to get a dream catcher now. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I always have had, like, vivid, wild, crazy dreams. So I feel like if I ever didn't have them, I'd be like, something's missing right now. (laughs) Yeah, it worked. That's crazy that you have dreams because historically I can rarely remember dreams. And then uh, I started taking CBD oil, and then I started having, like, lucid dreams. It was Mm. crazy. Oh, that's cool. That's crazy. Yeah, I... Ever since I was a kid, I've always had like crazy vivid dreams and I would actually get to the point where I was like, couldn't remember if it happened in a dream or if it was actually reality. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I've done that once. I thought we got a puppy. I could have swore we got a puppy. Like I ran downstairs like, where's Bruno? They're like, who? I'm like, the little puppy we got. (laughs) That's when I quit dreaming. I just kept everything to myself. I don't even know if this is real life or if I'm dreaming. (laughs) Have we been reacting for months now? Or I could just wake up. Who knows? I always had this recurring dream where, like, everybody had on diapers on this rooftop. What? (laughs) (laughs) It's like a bunch of people. Like, we all had on diapers. And, like, we were taking turns, like – clipping the blanket to like all four corners of our diapers and we uh-huh. would jump off the roof and be floating <laughs> with like diaper parachutes. Bro. Was my diaper and saggy? Because I'm the type to just keep <laughs> peeing in it like multiple times and just let it sag. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'm like, no, I got two more peas in here, bro. Bro, I had that dream when I was like a kid and it like popped up in my like grown memories and I'm like, why do I keep having this dream? Like maybe I don't know, man. You might need to get your dreams interpreted or something. <laughs> something <laughs> I need to get that copyrighted trademark, like the diaper parachute. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Yeah, yes. Well, hey, sure. we appreciate you. I'm glad that this happened with someone as cool as you are, because somebody else might have been oh, like, Oh, uh uh. <laughs> no, y'all didn't forget to hit record. I don't care how greasy his finger is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But it was it was actually a, a even cooler experience the second time. Like, yeah. I'm digging Dreamcatcher. I really am. Yeah. yeah. And fans out there, let us know if you like this style of reaction. We did two videos back to back. Like that was the first time, wasn't it? Yeah. This is the first time. Okay. She's she's mm-hmm. breaking barriers down. She also stayed here for an entire DJ Tezzy mix. The first one ever. Was that the first mix? Um, no, I no, think I'm, it was uh, the first live mix. It was yeah. like the first one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. And we had, yeah, she was on screen. We did yeah. a reaction with her, and we were like, you want to just stay? Yeah. And she partied with us the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. So if you haven't, if you're out there and you haven't tuned in to DJ Tezzy mixing, message her. She'll tell you how fun it is. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. yeah. Well, hey, we're looking forward to seeing you again because uh, you guys didn't catch it, but in the last unrecorded video, she told us that she's dyeing her hair the color of the rainbow in reverse. So I'm curious, by the next time we see you, what color is going to be? We planned on doing this together, but uh, I don't have any hair, so I metaphorically (laughs) have purple hair right now. If you could picture me with that, uh, it will probably be corn rolls right now. I got uh, it. Or dreads. It's saved. Yes. I don't think I could do an orange beard. Like, I'd be looking strange. (laughs) 
it would just look like it itched. Yeah. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> it looked like you just ate, just fell in a bag of Cheetos. So yeah, man. you might have to skip orange and, and holler at her or blue or something. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, hey, congratulations again on your new job. I'm excited. Make sure you Thank send us you. a message Thank and let you. us know how it's going. Uh, we love to yeah, just definitely. get to know you guys personally, too. You know, if there's any way that we can, you know, add value to your personal life, that's what we're here for, too. It's more than just reacting on screen and sharing this experience. We we are truly connecting with people and making a, a community. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. For sure. Yeah, because I just remember, like, even the first time we hung out, I was nervous about doing this and just, like, interacting with you guys. Mm-hmm. It's just like talking to friends. It's just Dope. like you're chilling with friends and you no stress, no like pressure at all. Oh, this is right where we left off because I had asked you what it was like um, once you saw your video make it to YouTube. Did it feel like it was being viewed by thousands upon thousands of people or did it still just feel like you were talking to us? Because another thing to think about is we have 37,000 subscribers now, mm-hmm. but that's going to continue to grow. So you know, hundreds of thousands, maybe even a million people can see this one day. So how does that make you feel? It it definitely, it's like, makes you realize the world is a lot bigger than you thought it was. And there's a lot more like people out there that are interested in these types of things than Mm -hmm. you were ever to imagine. Because I've been into K-pop for since like 2014, 15, somewhere like that, where it wasn't popular and you were weird if you like things like that because you don't understand the language Mm -hmm. and now knowing that you like maybe i can bring like information that like you guys didn't know or maybe even someone else didn't know Mm -hmm. that's like crazy to think about that yeah that's the coolest that's the second coolest part of the journey for me is when i see somebody say man i didn't even know about this song or this group and now it's you know i've been playing it on repeat like that has been the most coolest thing a part of my whole life. Like I love to share things with people that I enjoy. So hearing you say that is confirmation for us for yeah. sure. Dope, dope. Yeah. Well, thank you again. And thank anybody who stuck around for this entire video. Uh, let us yeah, know. Thanks, give guys. us, yeah. Give us some feedback on uh, this style of episode. Uh, I look forward to looking, uh, to listening to more Dreamcaster and finding out more information. And uh, I definitely want to check out some behind the scenes of them. Got to. That's that's very intriguing. Oh, yeah. Got to. Um, until next time. Yes. You take care, my friend. Next time I see you, I'm going to guess that your hair is going to be green. Or blue. Or maybe <laughs> blue. Yep. <laughs> cool. All right. Have fun at work. Or it still might be purple. Hey, you right. do. either way it goes, it looks good on you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You take care. You too. Peace. 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 You heard?